Hello. This video outlines what we are doing in St. Kevin's Community College to reopen our school safely for all students, parents, guardians, staff and employees. Please take a few minutes to watch this video with your son or daughter so that you are all aware of the new procedures we now have in place throughout the school. A longer and more detailed letter explaining all of our reopening safety procedures is available on our website. Anyone who is returning to Ireland from abroad must follow the HSE advice. If you have travelled back to Ireland from a country not on the government green list, then you must isolate at home for 14 days. If a student is experiencing one or more symptoms of COVID-19 while at home, you must contact your GP and the student should never attend school and follow the HSE guidelines for self-isolation. If your son or daughter or a family member has an underlying health condition and you are concerned about their return to school during the pandemic, please let us know by emailing admin at stkevincc.ie. Please note that a letter from your GP must be sent to the school. If your GP has advised that your son or daughter's health condition puts them in the seriously at risk or vulnerable category and they should not attend school. The school will provide remote support for students in this category. If a student develops COVID-19 symptoms in school, they should first inform their teacher as normal. If the student is experiencing symptoms of COVID-19 in school, this will be brought to the attention of the principal or deputy principal quickly. They will be brought to the isolation room set up for this purpose, given specific PPE equipment to use, and a parent will receive a phone call and ask to collect their son or daughter as soon as possible from the building. You must then contact your GP for health advice. It is advisable that each student has their own hygiene pack, clearly labelled with the student's name. This hygiene pack should contain a small bottle of hand gel sanitizer, a reusable washable mask and plastic bag to hold it when not in use, and a small packet of tissues. This should be brought into school every day with a fresh face covering. New procedures for break times and canteen areas. We have arranged for both our morning break and lunch break to be staggered to reduce the numbers of students congregating at the same time. The canteen will now provide one hot dish for lunch. We will communicate in advance to students what the dish is each day. Students who do not like this will have to bring their own lunch on those days. A hot lunch will continue to cost €1.40. There will be no shop in operation at morning break, so students will have to bring their own healthy snack every day. Full school uniform is expected at all times. On the day when PE is on the timetable, PE gear should be worn for that day. Please note that this should be appropriate clothing for a normal classroom setting. Students will be issued with their books in the first few weeks of school. We will be asking teachers to work from online materials as much as possible to allow students to keep their books at home as they won't have access to lockers in school. They will need to bring some books to school, but this will be clearly explained to them by their teachers. As usual, students will ask teachers to access the toilet from class. We will assign different year groups to different toilets. Students should bring anything that they need from their hijack, hygiene pack with them. Notices will be placed at bathroom areas with strict instructions to have no queues inside toilet areas and to leave the area as quickly as possible. Ongoing supervision will enforce this, but students will need to take personal responsibility also. Hands should be properly washed using soap and hot water in the bathroom and hand sanitizer must be used after visiting the bathroom. We will try to return any lost items quickly to students, but if lost items are not identifiable, they will have to be dumped. This applies to bottles of water and lunch boxes also. 
please ensure that we have the correct contact details for you as parent or guardian or carer in case your son or daughter becomes ill. Please let us know immediately of any changes to your contact details. And we would ask that you download the Khmer app to your smartphone so that we can communicate with you in a more cost-effective manner. We are updating our code of behaviour to include the following line. Students will comply with COVID-19 arrangements and protocols that are implemented for the health and safety of all. Please discuss what this means with your son or daughter. We will distribute the school journal to students during the induction sessions. Students should use the journal as usual to record homework, notes or announcements. Parents should sign the journal weekly as normal. Teachers may not be collecting and signing the journals now, but we will still monitor students' progress on our electronic student management system called VSWare. We would ask you to keep an eye on the school's VSWare system to see any notes about your students' progress as paper journals will be used much less frequently by teachers this year. Please contact us if you do not have your VSWare contact details. At the moment, we are saying that students will have no access to lockers. We will review this constantly after talking to students in the opening days and weeks as we reopen. Mobile phones. If your student owns a smartphone, we advise every student to download the National COVID Tracker app and to bring their phone into school, keep Bluetooth switched on and keep their phone on but on silent, not vibrate. Parents can, if they wish, give their under 16 year old students permission to download this app as the digital age of consent is 16. Please decide what is in the best interest of your child. And as usual, mobile phones that are observed or used by students without a teacher's permission will be confiscated in the normal way. All school personnel, including students, will need to develop a habit of using the disinfectant wipes provided to wipe down their work area before and after use. This includes the student desk and any part of the chair that is considered a touch point the top of the back of the chair, for example, and sides of chairs. As advised by the HSE, all staff, students and visitors to the school must wear a face covering. Anyone who for medical reasons is advised by a GP not to wear a face covering must contact the school in advance of attending so that alternative arrangements can be made for the health and safety of everyone else. Students this year will remain in base classrooms and teachers will move to them. This will not apply to practical subjects like home economics, art, woodwork, metalwork and music. This will reduce the movement of students around the school and will allow year groups to be grouped in certain areas of the school as much as possible. Movement will still be necessary as mentioned for practical classrooms. Students must ensure they always follow the one-way system by walking on the left at all times and remain socially distant. We have removed all non-essential items from classrooms so that additional space is available for students and staff to practice social distancing. Students will be seated at a distance of at least one meter shoulder to shoulder and staff seats will be placed at a distance of two meters from students as outlined in the DES guidelines. All available space in the school is being used for increasing social distancing between students. Maintaining a physical distance of two meters is advisable where possible and especially as people move around the school and during break and lunch times. We will have an intercom system at the reception area. This will allow visitors to the school to collect information or request information through the external hatch without having to enter the school building. We will have an intercom button on the outside wall near the reception that visitors will press and then wait at the hatch area. However, we would insist that you make an appointment to come to the school if you need to see a staff member, but urge you to keep these to a minimum or in cases of absolute emergency only. Any student returning from suspension will have their return to school meeting 
with Mr. Duffy or Mr. Barry and the relevant year head at 3.40 on the day before they are due back from suspension. If your son or daughter has an appointment like going to the dentist or the doctor and they need to leave the school early for any reason, please ring the office or email us so that we can arrange for your son or daughter to wait for you. All visitors must sign our contact tracing log before being admitted to the main part of the school if it is necessary. Please avoid dropping up items that your son or daughter has forgotten. We will not be in a position to pass these on. Emergency items only, like forgotten medicine for example, should be labelled and dropped in through the exterior hatch before 10am each morning so that we can call your student to the office using the intercom. Students will not have access to the main office at all. We have carried out a deep clean of the school building using Noonan contractors. Hand sanitizer stations are available at every entry and exit point, inside classrooms and near other touch points around the school. All classrooms will have antibacterial wipes, tissues and hand sanitizer. We have placed signage around the school to ensure clear directions. As ever, we expect the best for you and from you. We ask you to wear a face mask with suitable designs for school. No bandanas or scarves or inappropriate designs are allowed. You know what we mean. Practice appropriate hand hygiene by washing your hands with hot soapy water regularly or using hand sanitizer when this is not possible. Practice social distancing at all times. Watch the videos at the links we have provided on our website to help you be best prepared for returning to school safely. Put steps in mind to look after your own personal well-being. This is a challenging situation and everyone can benefit greatly from having tips and ideas for staying calm, being kind to yourself and others and gently remind each other about the new arrangements that are in place. Follow our code of behaviour at all times, including our new rule about COVID-19 measures. Please know the names of the key staff in the school who are there to support you. Get to know the guidance counsellor, the chaplain, your tutor, your yearhead. Please arrive on time for school. If you are late, go directly to your assigned classroom and offer your explanation to your teacher, who will mark you as late on the electronic system we will not be using the late book system this year. Bring a packed lunch or one euro 40 for the hot lunch in the canteen and follow the rota for lunch as explained by your tutor during induction. Enter and exit through the door specified for your year group and use the usual one-way system at all times. Ensure you have your own labelled reusable water bottle which should be filled from home as that you will have no access to fill it up in the school. Chewing gum is not allowed, as you know, in the school and using chewing gum or disposing inappropriately of it will be considered a serious issue due to increased health concerns. As always, spitting is inappropriate and this is included in our code of behaviour as an unhygienic activity which carries increased health concerns, particularly at the current time. We will send specific instructions by text to parents of each year group about your return to school. Please ensure that you follow these carefully and for induction all you need is to bring a copy and a pen with you with your personal hygiene pack. Return to school with a positive outlook, ready to meet your classmates, your teachers and all other staff and ready to do your best to get back into good learning habits. Thank you as always for your continued support and for always working together where we can work our way through the challenging times ahead.